Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Lauren. In today's video, we have a fall collective haul. So these are items that I picked up, let's say over the past month. There's a pretty good range. I have some items from Farfetch, so some Chloe items, some Ami Paris items. I have Sephora, I have some Amazon items. So just a lot to show you. So let's get started. Let's start with Farfetch first because when I tell you these deals are good, I had to share them with you. Um, and I know that the holiday season is approaching really quickly. We're in October. I would say we're like the middle of October right now. So I like to look at items that I want to give for the holiday season pretty early on. I'm not a last minute shopper at all. I like to pre-plan things. So a lot of these are really great gift ideas. I have opened, um, all the items I got from Farfetch. One item is going to be a return and I will explain that. But the first item that I picked up is this Chloe hat. And this is from the kids section. Never sleep on the kids section. There are so many good items at a more affordable price point, I would say. So my Chloe backpack that I have from the kids section. Um, this from the kids section, and you wouldn't know it because if you look at the actual, whoops, if you look at the actual, um, branding and logo, it looks the exact same as if you would get it from the adult section. So this is just a cap. Um, Farfetch had a really good deal. This is not sponsored. I just love Farfetch. Um, so they had 15% off in their app, which they often do. So always check Farfetch because like I said, you can find some really good deals. So I think this was regular, it was 139 and then I got 15% off. And that is um, Canadian all in duties, taxes, fees, everything. So this is a wool blend. Um, you can see it has some really nice texture to it and I love the two colors that they use because I envision myself wearing this with a really oversized um, wool coat in the winter time and I think it's just gonna be perfect. Now, when you are looking online, please note the sizing. So I got this in a 56. You just sort of measure around your head in centimeters. I am about a 55. 54 and a half, 55. So I got the 56 and it is perfect. You can adjust it too. And it's just like a regular, it's just like a regular hat, but I love it. And I love, like I said, the color scheme that they used. I was looking at the Celine hat, but I'm not willing to drop that much on a hat. So for this and the price point, I think that this is really good. Now my hair is going to be messed up. I should always do this part last. I don't know why I always try on hats and everything at the beginning, but I think that this is just such a great staple. Um, and like I said, for the price point for Chloe, you can't go wrong. So that's the first item. The second item is the one that I'm going to return. Let me show you this one. So this one is also by Chloe. Noisy, sorry. I really wish this worked out for me. This is also from the kids Chloe section. However, I was searching up this, I'll show you right now, this toque and on Louisa Via Roma, they had an adult wearing it, like a, a full grown woman wearing this hat. So, uh, or modeling this hat. So um, the reason why I'm returning it, a couple of different things, it's too big. I ended up getting this in the size T4, which I think is the 58. I should have just stuck with the 56, but for some reason I always, I always think that a two can be a little bit tighter and I don't want it to be tight even though it's stretch out. But this is it right here. It is really cute. It looks black. I think it's just because I'm wearing black, but it's actually a really dark navy and it has beige and then a cream color and it says Chloe in gray. It has a little gray pom-pom. I'm returning it because it is too big, but also, and now I'm gonna ruin my hair all over again. I just don't really like the material and the fit of it. So. Here's what it looks like. It is cute, but the pom-pom kind of throws me off. It just makes it a weird shape. I wish they didn't have the pom-pom. I guess you could probably take it off, but I wish it wasn't there because it just, it looks a little bit strange. Um, so this is what it looks like. They did have it in other colors too, but the other reason, um, other than it being too big, right here, 
um, the pom-pom, the fabric of it. I'm not a huge fan of this fabric. It is nice because it is wool. I believe it's, oh, sorry, it's cotton, so it's not itchy on me. I believe it's cotton and wool. Yes, so 90% cotton, 10% wool. So if you do have wool allergies like me, then this could be um, a good option. Generally, wool beanies don't irritate me. It's the wool clothes that do, but, and I don't really like the Chloe there. As you can see, it's a different font from the regular Chloe, it's a little bit kind of boxier and squared off, whereas this is sort of like the very traditional Chloe logo. So um, it is cute for the price point too. Like I said, just don't ever sleep on the kids section. They have so many good things. So the last item that I picked up from Farfetch is for my husband. So a couple of videos ago, I had shown this beanie that I picked up from Ami Paris. And in that video, I had mentioned that my husband would probably really like it because his name is Andrew. So there's an A on the front. So I ended up picking him up one as well in the same style, but a different color. So this one is slightly lighter. You can see the gray and then the uh, logo is in black. So um, I really like it. At the price point of this one, it was on sale. So it was $155 Canadian, which I know sounds expensive for a beanie but i feel like if you are planning on keeping it for years and you like beanies like i do and you wear them often then i think it's a good investment it is made from virgin wool as well so it's a nice gift i'm also contemplating getting one for my friend as a gift um so we'll see but that's the last item that I picked up from Farfetch. Moving on, let's look at my winter FabFitFun box. This was so kindly sent to me. If you're new to FabFitFun, which I feel like they've been around forever, I used to subscribe to them for about, I think it was two years, and then it, my boxes just kept getting stolen in my apartment building, my old apartment building. But um, if you aren't familiar with them, essentially what they are, they're a seasonal box, and you get to customize what's in the box. And they're full size, which is amazing because a lot of the other, I used to do, I think it was Boxy Charm and Ipsy I used to do, and you get a lot of sample sizes with that, and I quit it because it wasn't worth the money. If you aren't a fan of what you're getting in your box, you can also choose to skip that month, and then you can get credit instead, and then you can use that credit for their flash sales that they have. Their flash sales are insane. I think I mentioned last time I picked up a lot of the Dr. Paracone products for up to 70% off. So I know they're having a really big flash sale for Cyber Monday as well as for Black Friday. So I'm really excited to show you what I got here in here because for the price of the box, it can't be beat. There's an item in here, just one item alone pays for the box. It's like Christmas or a holiday or your birthday when you get a box too because it's just sort of full of surprises. Even though you customize it you know what you're getting. It's just kind of a fun surprise and a gift to yourself. Um, so, like I said, I customized everything so I was able to tailor it to my lifestyle. Um, a lot of these items too, you can also pick up during the flash sales. So if you are a member, then you have access to those member only sales and 70% off a lot of these items, if you can get it, is such an amazing deal. And like I mentioned, because it is the season where people begin to start thinking about the holiday and what they're gonna be gifting, a good time to get some gifts ahead of time and to save some money. Let's look in. This is the item that I'm probably the most excited for and this one pays for the box itself. So this is by the brand Commodity and it is in the scent Milk. I believe it's called Milk Expressive because there's a couple of other ones. Yeah, it says Scent Space Expressive for me and the many around me. This is 30 mils. This is $75. American. If I were a perfume, this would probably be me. This is my aesthetic, the black and the matte black. Oh, I love it. So like I said, this is 30. Okay, it's very vanilla-y. Oh, I love this. I can smell it already. So let me put this on. I know that um, commodity scents are really strong. Okay. There's a little bit of masculinity though. I'm not good at describing scents but it does smell sweet, but there is like the spiciness to it. Oh, this is nice. And it's just, I just can't get over this cute little bottle. And being $75, I think with all the options, the box, the value of this box can go up to $350 US. Um, next up, I got this one here. This is by the brand Topicals, which you can find on Sephora. And this is the Brightening and Clearing Eye Masks. I love eye masks. 
Um, I have really dark nap, um, under eye circles and it's just, I believe it's just genetic. And so you get six of these in here and it says fade the look of discoloration while depuffing your eyes. On the Sephora website, six of these, Canadian is $30. So I'm really excited to give these a try. But like I said, you can also just gift these if it's something that you end up not being interested in. Um, and then I also picked up this. This is by the Beauty Bakery. I haven't heard of this brand. It's called the Chosen Bun the Eye Shadow Palette. So it is a neutral palette, but then there are some kind of foil and shimmer colors there. I would probably gravitate to these matte colors. These is the, when I looked at the palette online. This is really pretty. And they're all really... Okay, I didn't think it was going to smell, but I thought maybe there was a chance it smelled like cinnamon buns, but this is really nice. I like this. This is a good palette. And then I picked up um, this one I'm also really excited about. This is by the brand One One Skin. I haven't ever tried this brand, but I have seen it at Holt Renfrew and it's fairly expensive. This is the Celestial Black Diamond Brightening Essence and it is 30 mils. So here it is. These two together, very much my aesthetic. I love it. But um, I'm really excited to try this brand. Like I said, I haven't ever um, used it before. I've only ever seen it at Holt Renfrew. It is fragranced, but it's a nice, it's very fresh smelling. It smells like something I know. It just smells very fresh. So I'm really excited to give this a try. Like I said, this is 30 mils. This is very weighty too. I think this is, yeah, it's made out of glass. So um, I love being able to try new skincare brands. I take my skincare pretty seriously. And then I got some earmuffs, which I'm not going to lie. I picked up a pair in the past. I can't remember what brand were they. Were they Uggs? And I don't know where they went. I lost them, but I am always down for a good earmuff. These are by Aerosols, I believe. Yeah, it says Aerosols right there. These are so fluffy. Okay, let's put these on. Are they adjustable? They are adjustable. And I don't want to ruin my... I love it. They are so fluffy. They're fluffy on the inside too. I don't know if you can see that. They're like giant pom-poms. These are so cute. Oh, they're so soft. <laughs> I look so funny in them, but okay, can't go wrong with a pair of earmuffs. I love those. And then the last item is a jewelry item. And so this one is by Ana Luisa. I have picked up items by Ana Luisa before. Oh, these are them there. They're really small. They kind of look like little huggies, but I think it would look cute on my um, second earring hole that I have there because they are small. So let me show you these really quickly. Hopefully it focuses, but it almost looks like two earrings in one. And then one side has um, some gemstones going down. I'm assuming it's cubic zirconia. So these are so cute. This would definitely work for my second hole really well. So excited to have these two. I always love getting jewelry as well and being able to choose it. They also had a couple of options with necklaces, but um, they weren't really my style and I plus I think there was a skincare option instead. So obviously I I like to get skincare That's everything that I got in my winter fab fit fun box. I'm definitely most excited about the perfume because it smells so good um, the Beauty bakery eyeshadow palette as well as the one 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 skin brightening essence Those are all items that I probably if I didn't have the fab with fun box I never would gravitate towards so I'm really excited that I got to give it a try I do have a discount code for 20% off your first seasonal box I will leave it here as well as down below in the description box definitely go check out fab fit fun Especially like I said because they're gonna be having massive sales coming up for cyber Monday as well as for black Friday They are member access only sales. So go join a fab fit fun So thank you fab fit fun for sending me this amazing box and let's quickly move on because I've been talking for so long um, I got this from Amazon. This was during the prime day. This is an ad adhesive bra So I bought these sticky bras to wear under my bodysuit. So if I'm out and about um, I wouldn't wear a bra but for work definitely need to so I'm hoping that these um, Work really well. They have really good reviews. I will link my Amazon storefront but these were on a really good discount during the um, their Prime Day sale that they just had, but it often goes on sale as well. I also picked up the Dalba 
aromatic spray serum. It is a uh, biphase, so it is like the oil and water, so you do need to give it a shake, as you can kind of see here. Um, I have given this a try. I would say it's very fragrant. I do like it, but it is heavily, heavy, heavily fragranced. Again, this is the aromatic version, so I don't know if the other version is as strong, but this one is very strong, but I do like it. So I kind of get the hype with it. It's the truffle serum. And then, um, is that all I got from Amazon? I picked up a lot, but those are probably the only things worth showing you. From Indigo, if you watched my vlog, my last vlog, then you saw that I picked up a lot of the PSA skincare. So I picked up a cleanser, as well as the serum, the hyaluronic serum, and then this brightening mask, which you rinse off. I'm really excited for this because this is, the second ingredient is ascorbic acid. So I love ascorbic acid for vitamin C. Um, so I picked up a bunch of those. I'm going to give some of them away as um, gifts as well. And then Sephora, I picked up a decent amount from Sephora. I know that the sale is coming up at the end of the month and I could have waited, but sometimes I think that things will sell out. The first item that I got is from Hourglass. I generally pick up one of these Hourglass palettes every year. This year I got the Leopard, which is meant for medium skin tones. Sometimes I go between the medium and the darkest, but this one will work for me, especially now that we're going into the winter months and I'm losing kind of my color from the summer. But these Hourglass palettes are definitely worth it. I think this was 110 Canadian, but you get six different um, powders to try. So there's one, two, three blushes. I think there's a bronzer and then a highlighter and then a finishing powder. Hourglass powders are just a step above a lot of other powders, I would say. Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. So this was essentially buy one, get one free. I think this is $31 Canadian, which is the price of one. So you get two. Um, this is the plumping one. I also want to pick up the balm, but let's give it a go. There's primrose and mixed berries, and you just, I think you click it up. Yeah. And the models online had really juicy lips after. This is a nice color. I generally gravitate towards a lot of nude colors, so I don't feel it tingling just yet. It definitely has kind of that minty menthol type of sensation to it though. But I don't feel anything going on yet. I generally don't like really like those lip plumpers that hurt and burn. Um, and then I picked this one up. This is the Huda Beauty Balm Brows Micro Shade Brow Pencil in soft black. I use the Kevin Aquan, but I want to give something else a try. This one looks good. The packaging is really pretty. And then here we go. It's really fine. I have to be careful because I don't want to break the tip off, but there it is there. I think the soft black color is perfect for me. I have very dark, this is my natural hair color. I have really dark brows as well. And then I picked this up. I already took the package, um, I threw it away, but this is what I'm using on my eyes right now. This is by KVD, it's a super pomade. It's an eyeliner, sh shadow, and brow pigment in the color Auburn 90. And like I said, it's what I'm wearing right now as eyeshadow. It's just sort of a warm, medium brown. And then last but not least, I picked up this Sephora Favorites Holiday Must-Haves. I generally like to pick up a few of these, usually the lip one and then kind of the must-have version of it, but um, this was $78 Canadian, a value of $242. There are one, two, three, four full-size products in here. And there's a lot of products in here that I knew I really liked. It comes in this really cute uh, cosmetic pouch, which is actually pretty decent. Sometimes it comes in pouches that are not worth it or like recyclable paper pouches, but this is nice to gift to somebody. So it came with the Huda Beauty. This is the banana bread powder for baking under the eyes. I'm excited to give that a try. The makeup eraser, which I think is like the Garnier Micellar makeup removing pads that I have. The beauty blender full size, which I already know I love. I use that every day. The kale, the used to the people kale cleanser. I've used this multiple times, like it. It's pretty standard, but I do like it. 
Um, the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel. I've used this multiple times, like it. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. It's in a smaller size. Love this too, use it all the time. So these are all products that I'm very familiar with and being able to get it at a reduced rate like this is just such a good deal. One of my favorite lip glosses in my favorite color. How amazing is that? This is in velvet. This is the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. Use this all the time. I don't think I'm wearing it today. No, I'm using that Tarte one, but I think I had it on earlier, um, but I love this one. So good. This, uh, I don't know if it's Amica or Amica, the Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I don't have a dry shampoo right now, so this is perfect, and I can give that one a try. The Milk Makeup, it's a lip and cheek color in Work. This is another full size. I love um, cream blushes, and I have used a lot of Milk Makeup um, products, so I'm excited to give that a try. This KVD Tattoo Pencil Liner in Trooper. I've used a liquid liner, haven't used this one. Uh, this is the other full size, and last but not least, the Fenty Beauty. It's a mascara, and I'll give this one away because for me, I have, I'm very particular with my mascaras. I need to use a waterproof one. So that is everything in the bag. And then really quickly, I, before I forget, I want to show you this that I got from The Line. The Line is a stationary company, but they also have some ready-to-wear items. Um, I did get some new inserts for my agenda for 2024, but I also picked this up, which is their pearl necklaces that they came out with in the summer. So stunning. It's gorgeous. I might wear it later today. This is what it looks like and it layers really well. I believe this was under a hundred dollars and um, the owner Reza, she has a channel here on YouTube. I will link her down below, but I love the items that she came out with in the summer. This necklace is just so nice. So that is everything. It was a lot. If you stayed with me, thank you. I will link everything down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the love and the support and I will see you in my next video. Bye.